Good morning, Reefers! This is Danny, and how is everyone doing today? I just wanted to give you guys a quick 30 second update as I always do. Um, computer software and things haven't been working the way I want them to as of right now, so our videos are just have to be live. So we're putting together more, um, I would say the more complex things get, the more problems we have, but we're working out the kinks as time goes on. But our beautiful table, square, counter, everything is set up. Still learning how to use all this stuff. It is unbelievably cool. I cannot wait to show you guys. So it takes all by hand, so it takes a while. But there you guys go. What's up, Will? How you doing, man? Check out our latest creation over here. This is one of our tables. There's a shark. Some sea turtle. So this is the top for this table over here. We were just pimping it out, putting in some electrical outlets, phone chargers for everybody. So when people come to hang out, you guys get to um, charge your phones or your laptop or whatever you got. So. And this is still wet, so we just put another coat on top. What's going on, Gabe? How is everything? So this is our crazy, this is just a crazy table. Just for fun. Got some turtles over here chilling. I love it. It's definitely cool. There's a big, big shark in there just hanging out. He's kind of hidden under the... Um, under the water, but he's a big one. So let me let me take you guys back. So that's that. Um, we are trying to get the RODI systems in so we can fill these up with water. I'm like feeling these tanks need to be filled up pretty soon. So we're building the stands and hopefully the fry tanks will be here tomorrow. But this little project over here is our um, latest this is the shipwreck this is going to be our table where we do all the product reviews on so i'm going to set up a camera over here and we got our lights already set up so what we're going to be doing is all you guys testing them out telling you what's good what's worth the money so check out this table it's so dope we even put some dolphins in the middle just for fun. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we just kept it pretty basic. Just a couple colors in here. And then in the middle, decided to throw in the dolphins. But we're going to put a mast up on top. So once that is created, we're going to hang a little ship and mast, and that'll be up top. So. Yeah, the problem with being talented, Gabriel, is I don't get to sleep much. <laughs> I'm always working on something, um, but I have a good crew. Everybody here has been working their butts off trying to get stuff done. So I can't wait to get the TVs and everything else in place, get the coffee table up. I keep having to switch locations as we're working on stuff. But this table over here came out awesome. I'm absolutely in love with the colors on this. It just, it just flows. Almost looks like a giant, uh, I don't even know what to call it, peacock. There's colors everywhere, just bursting. This whole table is awesome. So this is the submarine. These are the bottom propellers that were, <laughs> I'm trying to find pieces off Amazon that look like submarine blades. So I'm like, all right, all right. So I got these antique fans, you know. <laughs> so this will become, they said they wouldn't spin, but we're gonna make them spin. So, when you come in here and you check out the back of the submarine, I'll have some bubbles popping out, fan blades spinning, and then got to have some smoke for the cannons on the ship. So, we'll definitely drill a hole, put a smoke machine in there, and just pimp it out. So, all right, Will, man. Thanks for watching. I'll, I'll um, catch you later. So, a new addition, too, is that giant mirror in the back. Couldn't go wrong by hanging a giant porthole mirror in here. So we got this 
killer table behind us for doing demos, packing coral fish, whatever we want to do. Got this giant frag table over here with the custom sink. It's nuts. So there I am. What's up, guys? Hello, reefers. And then these, I couldn't leave them white. They were just sticking out like a thumb, these giant RODI containers. So we painted them blue so they blend in with the wall. And I couldn't be happier. So trying to hide stuff and make everything look cool instead of having obnoxious pieces of equipment. But, but yeah, I'm really impressed. This thing is awesome. It just has such a cool, chill look to it. Imagine we put a fish tank on top of here. So you guys would definitely, definitely like a fish tank. Get all your wiring in there and have a cool little demo. We'll put some speakers in here for you. Have a whole entertainment system. <laughs> Thanks, Gabriel. I, I am really excited to get these things done, to start moving forward. It, it is just, it's been a lot. So we got the food in there, Kari's all set up, freezer's looking good. But we keep making changes. Every time we set something up, we decide, do we like it? Do we not like it? Does it need some improvements? So, frogs are doing good. We watered everybody earlier and filled everything up. And oh, you know what? I didn't even show you guys. Um, and I gotta be careful I don't walk into anything because these are wet. That will not be fun. But check, check, check this out. You're really, really gonna be in for a treat when you see this. So, I can't see you guys, your comments. And it is probably rush hour, most people are on the way home from work. But, go back and watch this and I will make a video later. But, you're about to see something I've never seen before. Let's see, we are cleaning out the tank today. Um, Isaac was in here and we're just trying to <laughs> keep everything maintenance and, and look good and we noticed, I think Lindsay's the one that noticed it, these little bubbles in here. And if you look closely, you will notice that each bubble is a baby axolotl. And they're all over. So let me try to zoom in. Can't stop shaking, guys. I'm sorry. I'm leaning over. I'm trying to hold this and show you, but what? Dude, this is crazy. So they're like little bubbles all over. And each one has a little baby in it. And I don't know if he's going to eat them or not. I've never had axolotls before like this. And they're just blowing around and doing their thing. But I definitely got to get a macro lens on here and maybe even the underwater camera because this is just crazy to see these little guys. And my clownfish lay eggs all the time, and I, they don't get to this size. They never do. I don't even think they're fertilized half the time. But these are actually babies in there. What? And there's so many. There's actually so many. Let me just go over here for a second. So, they're honestly all over, and I don't know if it's because we knocked them loose when we were cleaning, or if that's just how they breed, but they're on the leaves. Check it out. Let me zoom in a little bit. It's hard to see because, like I said, it's a camera, and I'm on live chat, so it blurs it when I zoom in. But there's little baby axolotls everywhere. So... I want to take some out. If anyone knows anything about keeping axolotls, feel free to let me know um, what to do. I always wonder why she was hiding. You know, she comes in here and eats her food and then takes off and never shows herself. So, maybe. Oh, there's another one. Look at that, just flowing around. Little baby axolotl just in the current. It's a bubble in a bubble. It's like protective cocoon. That's pretty nice. Very interesting. So, let's give you guys a little update. Hopefully everything is cool and nobody, nobody eats these guys. 
but I will keep. Oh my gosh, what? There's more over here. What? The clam is covered. There's little bowls all over it. That's dope. I really don't. Look at my red tail shark in the back. He's always just chilling right there. One of my favorites. Fresh water. So. Alright, anyway, guys, that's my. Uh, well, yeah, this tank's awesome. I love when things just start laying eggs and having babies. And, you know, there, there she is, or he is. That's um, the male, I'm assuming. The albino one is a female. What's up, Dad? But little ones over there, don't eat them. Don't you eat them. Don't be upset if you eat those little ones. They're too cute. I'll feed you. Maybe. So, <laughs> anyway, guys, that's my update. Feel free to ask any questions. But, dude, I don't even know how many days it's been. So, I don't know what size or if these things have been growing. I literally haven't been paying attention to this tank. So, it could have been days since those were laid. No clue whatsoever. But, I'm going to close this for now. Come back, check it out later. I do have to keep monitoring this table. As the epoxy dries, things tend to color shift. And it's hard when you're trying to create an art project. And if it's not perfectly level, it will drip to one side. So you can usually tell what side is not level by the puddles that run off. But this is our second coat, so it should be pretty nice. And I think I'm done. So. I've been trying to hang up mirrors in the store just to make it look more um, more livable, more friendly, more inviting. Give it more depth and more room. So the mirrors definitely add, add a nice touch. But Stay tuned for our fragging carts too. We're um, building some interesting fragging carts and all the lights will be hanging on display above the carts. So that's something that I am looking forward to showing you guys as well instead of just having our favorite products on display we're going to display you all the ones that you need so depending on if your brand is marine land or if you guys are um you know red sea fans or whatever it is we'll make sure we have it for you guys but all right i need to go get a burger or something i missed lunch today we worked right through lunch um so, <laughs> so yep, so our choices were to paint this just a regular white, and we decided to go dolphins. They said, what color? And I said, dolphin color. Yep. <laughs> so be amazed for more to come. We always have something interesting to show you guys. Um, as more and more seaweed, we start getting the cords and things in order. Uh, that'll look awesome to even more and I'm excited for that so if you have any ideas feel free to share them with us uh, you can send your messages to info at coralus.com and I'll get back to you as soon as possible and as always thanks for watching and happy reefing until next time I'll see you guys later uh, Gabriel I, I can't wait to hear a follow up for corals um, it is interesting to see, you know, I, I ship a lot of corals to different states and a lot of layovers and, and different exchanges. So sometimes corals stay in freezing cold temperature for a day and then they go to California and they sit on the runway or something where it could be hot. So it's, it's really tough when you're um, trying to manage packaging for everybody and delays. But I'm really looking forward to hearing how those corals went after FedEx in um, the storm and they got delayed so so keep me posted and this was funny this was our initials it said DJ and <laughs> this is Christians over here so but you could tell as the table run, runs my name didn't stay it just drooped off the table so if you see this this was my initials and it's gone Heh <laughs>